guys, so for breakfast, I've heated up this already baked purple sweet potato, and I just find these in the local grocery store. So just mash it up. And then today I'm gonna put some banana and mango on top of it. And then this morning, I'm gonna top it with a little bit of these hemp hearts. These are so good if you haven't tried them. And they're a great source of omega-3s. All right, so I've got all this steamed Swiss chard from the garden for my vegetable this morning. And I'm just gonna drizzle that with a little of this peach balsamic vinegar. This stuff is amazing. I will link it in the description box for you guys along with the discount code. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki. Welcome back to another How I Eat in a Day vlog. These seem to be your guys' favorite and I love making them for you. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki. I do have a Facebook page, but I don't post there as much. Instagram is just a better platform for me. So if you wanna see all of my hiking and mountain adventures, as well as my food for the day, check me out there because I'm constantly posting to my feed and to my stories. All right, so breakfast today is super simple. I'm really excited that I'm finally getting greens from the garden because we planted late. But this Swiss chard is really amazing. That purple sweet potato is just gorgeous. And I just found that at my regular grocery store. And it's shocking, I know, it's not oatmeal, but, but I'm out of oatmeal, so. It has been really hot here lately. It's gonna be like 100 degrees today, so I've just loved doing like these little infused waters. Feels like very pampering and spa-ish, so anything you can do to make yourself feel a little more special. All right, so today I'm gonna do a garden tour for you guys and show you what we planted and how well everything is growing. Um, I might get to an orchard tour later. I'm not sure though, because um, we're gonna go paddle boarding this afternoon, so that'll be fun for you guys to see. All right, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast, and actually while I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna show you guys the new clothes that Yvette just sent me, because you're always asking. Um, so I'll just show those to you real quick. And we are gonna be doing a giveaway probably next month. We're gonna be giving away three to four outfits, so stay tuned for that. All right guys, like I love getting these in the mail. I love Yvette clothes. So I'm gonna show you just real quick. I'll do a clothing haul next month. I don't wanna take a ton of time, but you guys are always asking, look at this bra. Oh my gosh, I think this has to be my favorite bra. How pretty is that? And that mesh in between, so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this one. That is awesome. I'm going to love that. I love that all their bras are so supportive because I need it. Look how cute this one is. Love, yeah, they sent me three bras this time. And they sent me three of these tanks. I'm wearing the like pinkish, mauvish one. They're really light and silky. They're so great, especially for the summer. All the hiking and running I do, I just stay nice and cool. So they've got a blue one and a black one. And I've tried all of them on and I love all of them. And then they sent this really light, it's a really interesting fabric. It's really, really light. And it's this cute little like crop top. So that's gonna be really fun to wear with either some white or black leggings. So yeah. So next month I'll do a clothing haul with more of the pieces that they're sending me and I'll also be doing a giveaway with them. We're gonna be giving away three to four outfits so that's really exciting. But I will go ahead and link these pieces in the description box for you guys along with the discount code in case you wanna check them out. All right, so let's go see what's in the garden. Okay guys, so the garden is growing really, really well. Um, we are novice gardeners, we are beginner gardeners, we don't know what we're doing, but we've actually had a friend who's a really good gardener come out and help us figure out what we can do differently next year. So next year we'll 
be a whole other animal. So okay, so we have our greens row. We've got like some Swiss chard and different types of lettuces. We've got some. I don't know what this is actually like some sort of bib lettuce or butter lettuce there's some more and then this randomly started growing here I don't know what type of squash it is but I don't know the birds get in here and pick up seeds and move them around and then we just replanted some more greens so they're just coming up and you can see like a random nice head of lettuce that just kind of like washed down my mound and then we planted lots of beets and then again, there's like another random squash plant that just started. And so we did plant tons of melons and pumpkins. The kids like to have pumpkins in the fall. We've got acorn squash. This one is spaghetti squash and it's starting to grow little spaghetti squashes. And I don't know, I've got acorn in there. I'm not sure which one. It is, but then we've got some yellow squash and some zucchini. But here's our here's our yellow squash growing. And we've got some zucchini back in there. And these guys are our cucumber. And then I have this gorgeous row of purple cabbage and green cabbage, which we love. And it's really fun to see the little heads of cabbage starting such a pretty vegetable and then I've got a bunch of different varieties of tomato plants and then these are like San Marzano's I've got some Roma's in here some that are called green zebras and then we got some big eyes I can't remember what these are called and then something that grows in clusters so <gasps> This year we didn't plant onions or garlic or potatoes. We kind of kept it pretty simple and basic just because we've been so busy and we've had issues with the deer getting into our garden. So we've had to put up a lot of deer fence. But next year we're gonna double the size of the garden and make it longer as well. And we're gonna plant like a berry patch in it and we're gonna plant a lot more just because we're learning these first few years like what to do and our friend that's a really like advanced gardener is really gonna help us out next year so that's exciting um i know you guys asked me like what do i do about bugs i don't do anything about bugs like you'll see by the end of the season like the bugs do get my cabbage leaves um but they don't get to the cabbage head itself so i don't really worry about it and as far as like the critters we've got a rabbit fence around the garden to keep the rabbits out but like i'm constantly contending with the birds so but that's like a constant battle every morning i like look out to make sure there's no deer in my garden but we have all sorts of wildlife out here we've got bears we've got mountain lions and bobcats so you do have to be aware you do have to be careful but that's all part of mountain life we wouldn't change it for the world Okay guys, simple lunch today. I'm gonna use the leftover sweet potato from this morning and some leftover rice to make some vegetable fruit sushi. So I've just taken some sliced cucumber. I'm gonna put that in. Some leftover mango from breakfast. Some of that gorgeous sweet potato. And then I've got some sprouts here. And it's really easy. All you do is just kind of gather it all up and roll it over. And I don't use special sushi rice. This is just white basmati rice. All right, so I put some mango on some of them and then I'm gonna put a little bit of avocado on the other pieces because I love avocado. All right, and for a dipping sauce, I use this low sodium soy sauce that I find at Whole Foods. And I like to thin that down with some rice vinegar because it's still too salty for me that way. For my vegetables, I'm gonna have this Thai salad. I always like to make a bunch so we have enough for a couple days. 
And then everybody can just enjoy grabbing salad to have with their meals. It just makes it easier to have it made ahead of time. And then I'll put this low fat Thai peanut dressing on it. And I will link all of this in the description box for you guys below. Okay guys, so that's a gorgeous, delicious lunch. I always like having things prepped so I can just throw a meal together. I always have rice cooked and I always have potatoes and sweet potatoes cooked and ready to go. I will link in the description box for you guys the link for the video so you can see how to make this low fat Thai peanut sauce. So yeah, and I will leave the sushi station set up and my kids will come roll their own. I don't roll their sushi anymore. They're old enough that they can roll their own and they enjoy it. So I just do that. Now if your little ones are too little to roll their own, then go ahead and just make them a sushi bowl. Don't make it hard on yourself. Like I will seriously only roll sushi for myself. If anybody else in my house wants a sushi roll, they must be able to roll it themselves. So a sushi bowl is a great way to have all these delicious flavors, but not have to roll it yourself or have to roll it for your kiddos. All right, so we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go paddle boarding. There's anything better than watermelon on a hot summer day. All right, so for dinner tonight, I'm just gonna make some scraped potatoes in the air fryer. You guys are always asking me on Instagram how I get my potatoes so crispy. So I'm gonna show you guys, I always have baked potatoes in the fridge. So I just cut them in half and you can use any potato you want. I just really like golden Yukon potatoes. So then I just take my fork and scrape these up really good. So I like to really get in there and make sure I'm getting all of it scraped up and then I just kinda restuff them. Okay, so here's my dirty air fryer. Sorry, I'm not gonna clean it for YouTube. Okay, and I'm not gonna season them or anything this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid down and I'm gonna cook them on 400 for 20 to 30 minutes. All right guys, so the potatoes are done and they're super crispy. Look at that, gorgeous. All right guys, here's a dinner. Look how gorgeous those potatoes look. And I put cheese sauce all over my broccoli. I will link that video for you guys. On my potatoes, I am going to sprinkle this bacon flavored seasoning and it is vegan and I will post a link if I can find one. I know I can find one to their website for you guys, but I just picked it up at Whole Foods. You can get it at Whole Foods. Um, so I either use that or I love truffle salt and the vinegar company that I oil vinegar from sent me this one and it's their, bl what is it? Their black truffle sea salt. And oh my gosh, it is so good. It is so much more potent than any of the other salts that I've ever tried. So I use this a lot as well on my potatoes to have truffle potatoes. So I will link this in the description box for you guys with the discount code for it if you want to try it. All right, I'm going to eat this. Yes, I'm going to eat all of this. Today was a very active day. And by the way, my kids eat everything that I showed you today. My husband eats the same thing. I don't make more meals. They don't eat the amount of vegetables that I eat, but they eat all the same things. Oh, and I am going to dip the potatoes in ketchup. I can't live without ketchup. For a fun cocktail, I like to put sparkling water in a glass and then I take my peach balsamic vinegar and I add some of that. And then I take some of this coconut vinegar as well and add that in. And then I just like add a little squeeze of lime. And that is like the yummiest little drink for summertime.
guys, that is it for me today. Remember to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.